Long ago, in a far-off land, known today as Turkey, a baby boy was born. His parents, Theophanes and Nona, like Abraham and Sarah of the Bible, were unable to have children for many years. This child was their miracle son, and they considered him a gift from God. They thought he would grow to be a hero of the people in Greek. The bishop of the town of Patara where Nicholas left was Nicholas's home. He quickly noticed how Nicholas avoided worldly pursuits and advised his parents that their son would be called to the service of God. At the bishop's request and under his watchful eye, Nicholas entered the nearby monastery and trained for the ministry. While there, Nicholas was known for keeping all night rituals of prayer and fasting. As time went on, his uncle the bishop desired to take a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Anxious about leaving his duty, he entrusted oversight of the church to his nephew Nicholas. Nicholas took the responsibility seriously and cared for the congregation the same way the bishop had. But then, unexpectedly, tragedy struck the young priest. Nicholas's parents died during the plague. They were very wealthy and left Nicholas a substantial inheritance. He pondered what he should do with his new wealth. Obeying Jesus' words to sell what thou hast and give to the poor, Nicholas used his inheritance to assist the needy, the sick, and the suffering. Each night, Nicholas would disguise himself and deliver food clothing and money to the people of his village. He later became the Bishop of Patara, and eventually, after his death, he became a saint, Saint Nicholas. Nicholas continued his practice of generous secret giving. Back in Patara, ruthless creditors seized a merchant's property and threatened to take his three beautiful daughters as well. The father's only hope was to marry off his daughters quickly before the creditors could take them. But without a dowry to offer prospective husbands, his daughters were unlikely to marry. Late one night, as the wedding of the oldest daughter was near, he still stood and left a bag of gold on the father's doorstep. When the father discovered the money the next morning, the family was very happy. Soon it was time for the second daughter to get married. The stranger again visited the family. He threw another bag of gold into the family's chimney. The family greatly appreciated the individual who was providing them such fortune, but they had no idea who this person could be. As the third daughter's wedding neared, the father decided to stand guard so that he could identify the kind of people who was generous to his family. This visit, the mysterious benefactor tossed the bag of gold through an open window. As soon as he heard the bag of coins hit the floor, the father chased after the stranger until he caught up with him. To his surprise, it was Nicholas. Nicholas was embarrassed and pleaded with the father to keep his identity secret. The father promised to keep the secret, but was so grateful for the kindness of young Nicholas that he could not keep the secret no matter how hard he tried. All these years later, Nicholas is still remembered for his kindness, generosity, and secret gift giving. In honor of Nicholas, many countries throughout the world provide children with gift bags in December on St. Nicholas Day. In other parts of the world, gift giving is reserved until the night before Christmas.